hello. And for the ones that you missed, this one here. So we have 10 green cards, 11 blue, and 7 red. 28 cards. We're picking a card and tossing a coin. Um, how many elements are there in the sample? Well, there's 28 cards, but those 28 cards will each be marked with a head and then a t tail. So to find the total outcomes, pulling the card is 28 possibilities. Tossing a coin has two. When you multiply them together, you get the 56. Um, let A be the event of a green card is picked, followed by a head. So the probability of a green card and then a head. Green is 10 out of the 28 and then a head is 1 half. And I think they wanted the decimal. Point one seven eight six. Using the spinner to find the probability of getting the following after one spin, a number greater than seven. So greater than 7 means we're not including it because it doesn't have the equal to part there. To be including the 7, it would have an equal to here. Since we're not including it, it's the 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of the 12. So it would be 5 twelfths, which is 0.4167. This one um, was just the rounding. They wanted one more decimal, or they wanted a decimal place. A jar contains five red marbles numbered one through five and 12 blue marbles numbered one through 12. So that's like one, what's red, right? Five red, one. Red, two, red, four, red, five, red. And then the blue, one blue, three blue, four blue, five blue, six blue, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. A marble shown in at random. If you are told the marble is blue, what is the probability that it has a number 4 on it? So if we already know it's blue, then it's only these bottom group. There's only one with a 4 on it. So it's 1 out of the 12 because we were told already it was blue, that cut all the red out. So it's 1 12th. There are five white, four orange,
ping pong balls in a bag. Two balls are randomly chosen without replacement. It says without replacement at the first part. Enter your answers as fractions. They do not need to be reduced. Okay, so if we look at this one, what is the probability that both the first ball and the second ball are orange? There's nine altogether. So the first one being orange would be four ninths. But now there's only three orange ones because we're not putting it back in there. So the probability, and there's total of eight, so it's three eighths. And that will reduce. one-sixth. This last one, you need to be careful because they don't have the totals. So if we want to find the probability that it's better given they're affiliated with neither party. They didn't give us the total for neither party, so we need to find the total. But, let me find the total first. So if we add across 21 plus 90 plus 118, the total is 229. This one's better. So given they're not affiliated with anyone, the probability that it's better is 21 out of the 229. I think what happened was you used 21 out of 18, but 18 wasn't the total. You need to divide by the total. So when something's a given, you only use that row, but they didn't have total, so it's 21 out of the 229. 